Welcome back to the busy streets. Wow, is it busy today? Got a little, a little mist going, a little, little rain, slight drizzle. Getting more precipitation than we did yesterday. So is that a bad sign? I don't even know. This area is super busy. There's a bakery. I think there's another bakery over here. I think this one had five stars on like five reviews. Oh, really? So maybe it's good. The other one had more reviews, but it was less rated. But that one was the famous one or whatever? Yeah, people claimed it was famous in the reviews, but it didn't even have that many reviews. Weird. So I don't know if it just blew up on like Facebook or something or what. But uh, yeah, I mean, we can take a peek at both of them and see what is the best option for bricks. The streets. It's very busy. This one looks interesting. There's a lot of savory bread. It's like a lot of, a lot of cheese and meat and that type of bread. And then there's one more up here that is famous for their French pudding bread or something like that, I guess, according to the reviews. It has long lines and some people said it's not worth it. And other people are like, it's so worth it. So let's see. I don't see that bread that was there last night though, when I walked by. Uh, I guess there's a big a whole shabab in there though. There's egg tarts. That's a big thing here, apparently. There's some sugar donuts. Coconut strudels. Wow. Tuna bun. Food acquired. Oh my god. Got a coconut. Uh, the fragment's the word after that? Coconut. It's yellow for some reason. Yeah, whatever. I forgot exactly what it was called. But you, it's coconut and it looks like this. If you saw that, the fruit I would guess it was was definitely not coconut. Does it smell like coconut? It smells like bread. What the heck? Coconut's such a strong smell. Whoa. It's so yellow. I think it's covered in like some... Hmm. It does not... No, well, maybe... It... I think the, the chunks in there are coconut. But whatever that is, like yellow sauce is... Or it's not sauce, but like there's like a yellow sweetness in there. That's like a like cream almost. That's mixed with it. That is really good. I really like that actually. The coconut comes in right at the end to smooth it all out. That's really dang good. Oh, that's hot. They had a lot of really interesting things in there. Like a lot of breads I have never seen before. Have you seen this one before? I have potentially. And there's just gonna be like a, like pork in the middle or something. It could be. Oh. I like the texture on that. It's like if you were to get a mini donut, but just make it bigger. Ah. It's not warm like one obviously right now, okay. but that's also really good. And that, these both can together for $18, so about two USD, which isn't that bad. So it would be in the US. We're finding affordable stuff for Hong Kong standards, I would guess. Unfortunately, this place was known for this weird French pudding like cup thing and they didn't have any. No. They had a lot of egg tarts. We should have gotten an egg tart, I guess, even though we tried one before. <laughs> ah, egg tarts. Maybe they're better than the Koala one. No, no. All right, epic. Yeah. Yellow. Some bakery breakfast has been consumed. Nummy, nummy, nummy. And now we're heading to a street market. The big famous ones at night, but there's also, seems like there's some during the day, at least on Google Maps it said open. So maybe there's some things to check out there right now. And uh, maybe later we'll go back, check out what we can see at the night market. <laughs> so it's right over here. There's a ladies market, which obviously the ladies we are, we gotta go. We gotta we gotta buy some ladies. I don't know what that I don't know what we can buy, but we can buy something. It's down here somewhere. I mean we could cross I don't know. Oh it's gonna yes, let's go. It's just a very active and very lively city. There's just people everywhere. And then also very gloomy. We haven't seen the sun in days. Uh, it would definitely look cooler with a blue sky, not just clouds and grayness and mist. It might end up ruining our plans to go hiking and checking out some of the countryside because if the buildings are getting shrouded in clouds, I can't imagine the mountains would be faring much better. <laughs> this will just be hitting the streets 
this time around. Maybe tomorrow it'll be beautiful. We'll see. We're back to the downtown area. The more downtown in the downtown in the downtown. Suddenly it's significantly busier and louder and uh, there's just people all over the place. And there's the market over there. You can see some tents. They actually keep their markets open all day. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. There's just so many people there's here. A lot of, there's enough people that they to justify it. Oh, they have like, this is interesting. They have like little street side brand stores like this. Like that's a small Adidas. Then down on that street, they had a Puma and a Nike. And I don't know, it was interesting to me. Okay, welcome to the market. Wow, that is so narrow. I can't tell if there's like certain products on one side or the other. It seems like it's definitely opening it up still. They're still setting up some stuff. It seems like they're still selling. They definitely can't be setting up many more stalls here. It is completely filled to the brim. Oh my gosh, a donor roll? In Miss India. Wow. I need some Indian food with it. That's so much great right now. This one is Oh, food? yeah. If, if there's corn on the pizza, you never know. Oh, true. <laughs> they have their corn pizzas. Uh, I guess we'll just walk into some of these markets, see what there is. Seems like it's mostly clothing and purses and stuff. It is the ladies' market. They still have some. Wow. Wow, so they have tarps in the middle of the street with the stores, and then the edges are restaurants. The restaurants seem pretty busy. I don't know if there's a good restaurant. There might be some good ones here. Oh, I have one of those at my house. There we go. We finally found what you came here for. That Tigger outfit right there. Oh, yeah. This is not what I expected the Hong Kong like street market to be like. Like, tarps like this. Like... Huh? The novelty t-shirts? All the graphic tees. Suitcases. That's an interesting thing. I've seen multiple suitcase stores. It's for when you buy too much stuff, so you gotta get another bag. True. Ottoman Turkish restaurant? That looks good. Look at all that meat. All right, so this is the type of markets we never know what to film in because it's just clothing. We don't buy that much. No. They're only still setting up some of the things. Yeah. Do they just set it up every day then? I don't know. You think they just keep it up if it's if open it's all every these day. Metal things too. There's so many restaurants on the side here. Oh, no, smell good too. Yeah, some of them do smell very good. Zaza Craft. <laughs> There's a hotel. Or apartment building, that would be an interesting one. Like, the DIY is definitely busy. It literally seems like even the stalls that are setting up, they're selling like clothes, blankets, costumes, purses. Like fabric stuff. I don't get how like these places, how you can make a lot of sales if every other store sells the same yeah, stuff. Yeah, and always for the same price. There's so many restaurants. I guess they end up getting more traffic from people just being at the market, but they're so hidden. And those sidewalks are going to be very skinny once all these tarps are up. Oh. Oh boy. Quite the provocative outfit. Yes. And that's the end. And it led us exactly where we want to be. Oh, Circle, Circle K. K. I saw this restaurant on a lot of lists. BHC. Oh no, no, it was BBC. I don't know, it was really hard to find restaurants online. There's so many of them. We just have to look at what's busy and then wait in line and then totally regret it. Or um, Every time we've had to wait for a super long time in a line, it's usually not that great. No, it's not. <laughs> or not good enough to warrant it. Or big foot locker. we can just find an advertisement and then look it up on Google and see yeah. if there's high ratings. Oh, that is a big foot locker. What the heck? Is this like Mall Street up here maybe? Yeah, it must be. All right, well, that was the market during the day. Half set up, half selling. Interesting. Not the best time to come, probably. No. It will be the best time to come if you actually want to walk. Yeah, and uh, I, be chill. I can't imagine later it will be... It'll be insane. Nathan Road. This street had a sign, so it must be very famous. It must be famous. Let's see it. 
Mason Road. That woman has a very large cart of boxes right in the middle of the street. She has a lot of boxes. A lot of bakeries here. They're, they're like on every street. That's always a good thing. Bakeries are delicious. Some countries it's hard to find a bakery. China, they're popping those bakeries. And the first one was pretty good. You are here. We didn't go to Sneaker Street. Oh, wait, no, you did. We oh. saw that at the east. That's why it's called Sneaker Street. Yes. Epic. Oh, right here. Yeah. And uh, we're here right now. And I don't know what this is, but it's something. It's nice to have maps. It's not the easiest to read because it's just a bunch of just rectangles, but this street looks interesting. It has like the sign sticking out all lit up. It should be cool at night. Can't see much on the GoPro, it's too bright. Well, we're at a big fancy mall. I don't know how you go inside of the big fancy mall. We'll see. It seems like a lot of malls here have all the stores on the outsides of it. Like, other than the big fancy one we went in uh, the Hong Kong downtown area, a lot of them are like this, where all the stores are outside. And then they just like build apartments on top of it. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the dense places just tend to be the ground floors. The McDonald's getting what it deserves. That McDonald's, McDonald's made me very sick. And uh, now it's surrounded in bamboo deserves. Is this the entrance? Wow, this one's just a fancy looking heck? building. Look at that. There's a fancy tower on it. What the heck? Huh. All right, let's see what this is all about. Whoa. It's like, it's like so aesthetically fancy, but it's so tight. Looks like it connects to the MTR too. Oh, that's nice. That's an interesting place. It's an interesting thing they do here too, which is very convenient. It seems like they connect all the malls directly to the the MRT, MTR. The MTR also, at least the station we went on, you don't have to like get out to transfer between different lines it seems like. It uh, seems like the lines were literally right next to each other. Like Dubai. Yeah, which is very nice. Alright, I guess we'll tour around this very expensive looking mall. I mean they have Chanel, Coach, Adid Adidas. Adidas. Dior. Oh. Oh my gosh, yeah, it goes up. Mall boys. We're in the mall. This is a fancy one. You know it's fancy because the lighting isn't super bright and it's got like a fancy like grayish brown color. Everything that's fancy has to be grayish brown or it's not fancy. That's how it works. There's basically a bunch of stores that we would never even think of buying things from and that's about it. Oh, and the expensive marketplace. This mall seems like it's surprisingly big. Being on the inside like this, you wouldn't think it would be too big, but I feel like it's really long. It's in the dense area, so they really have to maze it around, probably. It's underground, baby. We're under the ground. Whoa, look at that cake. Cheese. That strawberry one? Yeah, that looks very good. Apparently cakes are popular here, too. Yeah, there's cakes everywhere. What is that, mochi? These are very fancy looking things. Whoa. That's very fancy, it's very wide open. This mall just got a lot cooler. We were down there and we're like, oh, okay, maybe there's not it's much. Bit, it's a bit here. tight, like it's a bit claustrophobic. It looks cool, but. They could have made each of the other levels like five feet higher. It would have been less claustrophobic. But you know what, they have this and it's way cooler. And a very long escalator. Yeah, look at that for a thing. It's like, the escalators into like the Ukraine like subway. Yeah, yeah. There's a campsite over there. I don't know if that's a food court or what. There's actually like decent looking restaurants. Oh, huh. let's go explore this little thing. All the malls here have been very fancy. They have, they have. 
Is this Christmas music playing right now? What the? Cafe Locomotive Express. It's a train. The heck? Very fancy Starbucks. Of course. Starbucks is in every location, no matter what. Once again, it's very nice that everything, everywhere, has Wi-Fi. Weird. Korean pizza. I've never, I didn't think Korean pizza was a thing. Pepper lunch? What the frick? Pepper lunch is everywhere. We're back in the Philippines. Oh, it's pretty busy up here. That's me. Isaac, <laughs> you have to eat at your own restaurant. Coco Ichabaya. Alright, they got a lot of stuff here. That smells pretty good, whatever the heck that is. Isaac. <laughs> you gonna get a sandwich from Isaac? Eggs Benedict sandwich? Pepper lunch is the only thing we've ever seen before, so it's definitely some new stuff. Look at those massive bowls of ramen. Yeah, all the serving seem pretty big. Wow. Alright, we're gonna do a full uncut clip of the escalator. Okay. Can't tell how far we are yet. Oh wow, we've barely moved. We're still very close to the ground. A minute and 20 seconds. <laughs> wow. Seemed much longer than that, but. That was. Poise the escalator. I just wanted this Lego land, but it's still up another yeah. floor. Yeah, 12. The heck. Well, there's just more and more. The they make the escalators really like maze through this place. My gosh. That's the skyscraper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks like it. I think it said down there is like the something office elevators. Uh so they just decided to build a big mall next to a big office building. It's just a very interesting. I'm thinking this escalator. It's another huge oh my escalator. God, that and that's only to floor nine, or is that to go to twelve? Maybe it passes eight, nine, ten. Maybe it goes up to twelve. All right, uncut. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the grounded metro. Got it. Now we're going to our hotel. We found out you can actually check into our hotel at 1:30, according to Agoda which let's hope that's accurate because we need to drop off these bags. The shoulders are getting mighty sore. Too many, too much bag carrying these last few days. Literally. Sir. Uh, Only yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Very efficient natural again. Very efficient. Fantastic. So we got to get out of here. We got to go south and then we'll be there. It's not too far. It's starting to mist. It's More mist. This has been like the weather the whole time, basically. Let's go this way. That is called Epic Shortcut down a Hong Kongian alley. Look at that. Wow. That is cool. There's even people selling food in this alley. There's just food everywhere. Yeah, we shouldn't have any issue just buying stuff off the street. Oh, that's not an alley. That is a uh, mini strip mall. Does it exit over there? Those people turn to the right. Yeah, they came from that way. Well, let's see. Special wall. Special wall. And it's called Optical Alley. That place. Oh. That happens. Well, they really just show. I mean, like so much stuff in all of these places. Oh gosh! Please exit. Oh, we could have just came out right there. Apparently. Oh. Okay. Why do they just have Rolex stores everywhere? Do that many people really buy Rolexes? No, they just may, need to make one sale and they pay for the entire store. It's like the ultimate waste of money, I think, is to buy a freaking Rolex watch. Why are all these streets? It's like outdoor malls. Ice Square Shopping Center, epic. There's another big building right there. It should be here somewhere. Oh. 
I remember hearing it was hard to find. All right. Oh, this is very interesting. This looks like the shops in India, in Bangalore. Yeah. And oh, thank you. Oh gosh, where the heck is this place? Oh, I remember reading a rue there, like it's really hard to find. Hello, okay, yes, now. No, thank you. No, thank you. This is weird. This is not what I expect this place to be in. Uh, it seems to be a lot of uh, foreign uh, migrants here. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's why all of the hotels were, all the hostels were a different name of a different country. Delhi Club. Philippine Hostel, C4, 13F. All right. All right, let's find that. Let's see how this is. This is quite the place. I'm very scared to see how this might just, It might just be a little crammed. A little crammed. We're just shoved in here with 20 other hostels and a bunch of restaurants the and Chung stores. Chungking Mansion. It should be oh. mansion-like. This is weird. I've never been in anything like this. All right, Philippine Hostel. Here we go. We're in our hotel room. Ready? <laughs> Pretty okay, about what I expected, to be honest. This is the cheapest, basically one of the cheapest hotels in Hong Kong you get. Bed test? I didn't do full commit with my back because uh, we already tested it and it, it's a little So Well, again, what I expected. <laughs> uh, my favorite part is this lamp. Am I going to get shocked? Maybe. Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> That's the AC. It's got AC. It's got a painting. It has a TV. Slightly cro crooked painting. That's epic. Oh. Uh, it's got a bathroom with no handle. Toilet, sink, shampoo, soap. It's got a water heater. Fantastic. And you can poop and shower at the same time. That's multitasking. Exactly. You, the bowl might fill up eventually, but <laughs> it's all right. But now it's time for food. Hong Kong is an interesting place for food. We usually look on Google for the restaurants we go to, but Google here, all the restaurants that are rated decently are European restaurants that are insanely expensive. Probably from uh, tourists who use Google and go to those insanely expensive restaurants. We're a little concerned with our food going forward. I guess we'll see what we can find on the street. Oh. You belong to the streets. Back in the streets of Hong Kong. And a search for food. We really need food. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in a long time. We'll see what we can find. It's like we said, it's so hard to find things on Google. So we'll walk in the streets, see if we can come across one that might look tasty. And if not, we'll head in the direction of a decent one that looked decent on Google. Heck yeah. We found a restaurant, we were just walking down the street and this place was packed and we're like, oh, that place is packed. It's always a good there. sign if it's got people in it. Definitely. So we got a bunch of food. Uh, this is the famous French toast here from Hong wow. Kong. Two, three inches of French toast. My gosh, look at this butter. This is more than I anticipated because I also got normal food too. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's honey or what it is. Let's get on. Is it just more butter? It might, maybe it's just all butter. Holy God, look at this. Wow. Wow, look at the inside of that. What the Ooh. heck? This better be amazing. Whoa. Is it sweet? Mm -hmm. Whoa. That's super good. Oh. It tastes like a donut. Really? Wow. This place had like a lot of bread items and all the bread, item, bread items were massive. This one included. There's like, the inside tastes like a donut. And then I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. I didn't pour much onto it yet, but it's just like a nice, not overly sweet like a donut would be, like sugary, sugary. It's just a nice, simple sweetness. It's delicious. It looks pretty dang good. That is fantastic. Hong Kong French toast is popping. And it seems like it, we've seen it in a few places. Yeah. I will get this again. That is very delicious. What a dessert. 
I don't like that it came out before my. Yeah. That's a lot. That looks pretty good though. Look at that. Oh, it does look good. I don't have my rice yet, but I guess I'll try one of these quick. This is something that's pretty popular in the Philippines as well, so I've gotten it there. But it's from China, so let's try it in China. Oh, oh yeah. Crunchy. The pork is a little chewy. Really? Yeah. I feel like I'm crunching through a lot of different parts. Yeah, a lot of parts. I'm not a fan of the hard parts are there, but the sauce tastes pretty good. Those look pretty dang good. Noodle boys. I got the flat uh, rice noodles with beef and soy sauce, I think they were. One of the, basically everything, there's like certain must try items. They have a little icon for a thumbs up on the menu if it's like a must try. And there's like 50 items, so this is one of them. Ooh, a bit hot. Oh, really hot still. Tastes really good, the, the rice noodles. Such a fun texture. Some dang ricers. The beef really brings, brings in the flavor too. If you just ate the noodles, it wouldn't have as much, just sort of like a soy sauce flavor. The beef really brings in the flavor on that. That is really tasty. And quite a dang bit too. Oh yeah. Ooh, the aftertaste is pretty dang good too. Dang. Those look pretty tasty. That's a lot. I like these pieces too. They're like thin, pretty tender pieces of beef as well. Don't know exactly what this came with some spicy looking soup thing here. I'm scared, but I'll try a little bit. Definitely spicy. <laughs> How spicy? I, I didn't get that much of it, so not too spicy, but it hits you right away, right oh, yeah. in the back of the throat, because that's where you swallow. It tastes pretty good though. But it's basically exactly how you would expect sort of like a spicy vegetable soup to taste like, which is pretty good, pretty good. Don't know how much of that I can get down though. <laughs> if I want my uh, bowels to receive it well. True, that's always, a, that's always a scare or a caution we have to take here. I think overall this was like 80 or 70, maybe 70. Yeah. And then like 30 or? 40, something 40. like that, yeah. So, not, not a terrible bad. price. Not bad. Pretty good Tastes stuff. pretty dang good. Let's frag and do it. Eat time. Eat, eat, eat. We ate some Hong Kong food. It was pretty good. My, unfortunately, my uh, spare ribs, sweet and sour spare ribs were uh, really, really chewy. So I didn't finish much of it, I gotta say. The dang portions on my noodles. I finished the whole thing, but at the end, I was just eating the noodles just to finish them, but it was, well, the portion was quite large. Uh, apparently, people in that restaurant were just sharing a lot of yeah. the food, so we definitely could have shared the stuff we got. It was a lot. People were in and out of that restaurant quick. It was like, they'd spend like 15 minutes, eat everything, and then they leave. MLB is a fashion brand here. It's really weird. I never, we saw that in Vietnam, and I thought it was just like a gimmick thing, but that's, MLB is a fashion brand. They didn't have a single jersey in there. The heck? Anytime, if you ever went to an MLB store, it'd be for a jersey or like a hat. That's it. That is so weird. In the US, I'm saying. That's so weird. I wonder if those people even know it's baseball. I don't know. They, maybe. Everyone's seen the New York Yankees logo, but I yeah. wonder if they know if it's baseball or not. They probably don't, but that's very interesting. This is our street. Our hotel is snuck away right into there. In the Chongqing Mansion. It's a very interesting place. Tall building over there. This is like just a bunch of like pretty high buildings and randomly there's super high buildings. And Jollibee. <gasps> Jollibee? I never saw that. I didn't either. Why'd we eat at that place? We should have just ate at Jollibee. We could have got a Coke float at Jollibee. Hong Kong, interesting place. It is indeed. Very interesting. Everything moves fast. The restaurants, they expect you in and out. My like, gosh, they took our order very quick. Food came out five minutes. Everyone else that sat around us was gone by the time we were done. The waiters dropped the food and they gone. They're not, you're not having a conversation with the waiter. They had, some of them even had headphones in and stuff. It's interesting, it's interesting. It's a cool place. 
Hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling better and it can go much smoother. It's the police! We're gonna raid your hotel room! <laughs> Guys, our hotel was raided by the police. It was quite the experience. Suddenly we just heard banging on like the walls outside and we're like, People the yelling heck? outside. What the heck is that? And they started banging on our door and banging on all the other doors and we're like, so I just went up and locked the door because I thought like the hotel was being robbed or something. It was really weird. And then suddenly I hear the, a key go into the door and then it opens up and it's the owner of the hotel and like five policemen. Five? There's a lot of them. <laughs> and they asked for our passports and they just like took down a ton of information. They were talking to the owner and the owner was like, oh, I got cameras, I don't know what you were looking for exactly but it was like a 10 minute thing and yeah what the heck budget hotel <laughs> and uh so that was our experience today very epic and now you have something even more epic to try some honey butter sweet potato chips oh that's like the brand here it seems like the colby Oh, fantastic. Can we get a whiff? It smells exactly like the honey butter oh. chips. We've, there's some honey butter chips in the uh, Philippines that are a Japanese brand. That's very unfortunate. Um, it smells like those. Tastes a little different. A little more potato-y. Oh. It's a very interesting flavor. Let me try one. That's too thin there. Whatever the like green stuff is really adds like a vegetable flavor or something. Yeah, it's not. The ones in the Philippines are really sweet. Those ones are a little more salty. Yeah, and it's got like a vegetable flavor. Might be able to finish a whole bag of those uh, rather than the really sweet ones, which might be a little harder. Yeah, and these are really thin, so they just like melt. I actually don't taste the honey very much at all. Maybe there's no. Maybe there's not honey. I remember looking at the ingredients and there wasn't like anything sweet that I thought really. Oh, there's this honey powder is the last ingredient. Oh, weird. So they just dust it with some honey not powder? Much. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we're just watching the like, Ten Commandments here. Just a four hour epic movie from the 1950s. The only uh, TV channel that's in English that. Fracking epic. I'm loving this movie so far. Same. Totally know what's going on. That's just us hanging, eating some weird Chinese chips and watching some epic movies. Hopefully we'll be able to do some more tomorrow. We'll see how feeling. We have some parks to go to. We have some more cool areas. I know down by the bay on this side is another cool like park area as well. And I mean, we'll see if, the, if it's more clear tomorrow, we can go up a mountain. It seems unlikely since we literally haven't seen the sun for even a second. Yeah, but we still get in sunburn, don't worry. Your face is very red. Yeah, what the heck? How did we get sunburn? Cloud sun. burn. Well, it's a scam. Signing off from Hong Kong. <laughs>